Welcome to Cut Daisies and Unicorns, and it's a Trailer Friday, everybody. Trailer Friday on this ending, possibly beginning. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's episode, episode number episode number ten. Number ten. Ten is the number, and yeah, yeah, we talk about it. We do, and we, we spend some time with Ted. We, we talk about 10, and we talk about technology, and we talk about tenacity. No, we don't talk about tenacity. <laughs> Maybe. <Ooh>. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we ever mentioned the word, so yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And actually, um, y- you're really going to want to sign in. Uh, it, Matt Handley, um, shout out to hashtag Matt. He doesn't do that. Um, but uh, He doesn't go by hashtag Matt. <laughs> he doesn't go by hashtag Matt. Um, but uh, shout out. But what we do know is that Matt puts our podcast on to go to sleep. <laughs> right. This will definitely be a good episode for him to listen to. Sleeper number 10. Sleeper number 10. Because we spend all hour and 33 minutes or 27 minutes or whatever, the whole, all, all of the time is Every broken minute. up into 22 minute segments of nothingness. Uh-huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we're at zero. That's what, I mean, and, and really, it should have been our goal from the start. Maybe. We should have just said it from minute number one. Like, this is going to be an episode about zero. <laughs> because we accomplished that goal. Yeah. And you're the one that comes to the zero. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Making it a perfect ten. ten. Oh, that, that's good. That's, that's the way to wrap up that episode, right? Because they're the one that comes to the zero. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, it's 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 a combination number. Mm-hmm. Without you, there couldn't be us. Right. Without without us, you could still be you. <laughs> <laughs> you, could still be. you could still be you if you wanted to. Um, yeah, but when we come together, it's just like the ten. Yeah. You know, everyone needs a zero, <laughs> and we were able to be that. <laughs> We were able to be your zero for we, this Sunday. We're we're able to be your zero. <laughs> did did we just make you excited to listen to the episode <laughs> on Sunday? You're like, yes, an episode about nothing. You see, that's the thing. You know, Seinfeld is what I mentioned was a series about nothing, and it was a popular series. Yeah, they had good cereal. Yeah, always. <laughs> so. If you're looking forward to it, then you're saying, oh, like it's a, it, it's an episode about nothing, just like the whole Seinfeld series. So I really liked Kramer. Yeah. He's a funny guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I did too. Yeah. Kramer was good. I mean, and they had a good dynamic together, I think. Yeah. 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 It was good. And then uh, with uh, Elaine, I mean, she went on to, yeah. I mean, her next series was an Emmy winner too. So, yeah, yeah. so it's like she's had a series of series. <laughs> yeah, so it's true. Yeah. So how many, how many rants did Steve have today? Um, hmm, maybe 10. No, <laughs> I was going for zero. <laughs> well, it was either one or zero. Yeah. So. You'll have to listen to find out. <laughs> or it could be somewhere between zero and ten. Somewhere in there. Could be zero. Any one of those numbers. <laughs> yeah. So season seven was about numbers, and we uh, dig into the numbers a lot. I don't think we did on one, but uh, right. yeah, there, was, there was ones that we didn't dig into it as much, and there were some that were heavy with it. We gained traction right. by... Uh, episode three. Yep. Yep. That was the one that kind of sparked it all. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So other than that, what we uh, we did tell you is that in season eight that uh, we will not continue forward with that. That is That true. was reserved for season seven alone, everybody. So if you want to learn about the numbers other than one and two, 
listen to season seven again. Yep. <laughs> There's lots of pointers to pick out. Right. Yep, and we'll be looking forward to, uh, of course, after you listen to our big to-do about nothing, um, we will look forward to season eight and all of the potential Mm -hmm. because season eight, as we learned about the number eight, will be a season of infinity. Mm -hmm. It's just going to go on and on. Just like that song. The beat goes on. I was yep. thinking the uh, the song that never ends. This is the song that never ends. It, it goes, goes on and on, on my friend. friend. <laughs> Some people started and singing it, and then we knew what it was. was. And they'll continue singing. Oh, now we're flagged. Ends. Copyright infringement. Uh-oh. <laughs> is it copyrighted? I. You that know, seems like it would be an old tune where it would be in the public domain but maybe not i'm not going to research that <laughs> we were mad at our research assistant today <laughs> we were. um then uh there uh, uh, uh yeah this is a little bit of a teaser moon probe <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh <laughs> Moon probe does come up. It does. Yeah. And that actually, we discovered that Uh looking into the number 10. Yeah. After we were probing the number 10. (laughs) Oh, this guy. Oh, man. (laughs) We found found lots of things to probe. (laughs) And then... Pocket door. <laughs> Another keyword. Another keyword for you, everybody. Yep. Moon probe. Pocket door. Those are the highlights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and and that's what you have to look forward to. You're like, hey, wait, what about uh, some, like, you guys didn't take on some social issue or something that would completely irritate? No, we're, no. we actually are here today to bore you to, to death. <laughs> People are dying everywhere. You may just as well die of boredom. Amen. <laughs> Tis true. Let tis your yes true. be yes and your no be no. Uh-huh. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. There was nothing wrong. I mean, I was entertained um, throughout the episode, <laughs> so... <laughs> It's true. Yeah. So it's it's possible that you also too may be entertained. <laughs> but or uh, there's also the entertaining yourself to death. I think that's a book too. Oh, so, is it really? Yeah. Oh wow. I don't want to know about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Phil had me stumped a couple times. He brought up uh some topics and I had no idea. Mm. Um but what I will tell you is, if your child grows up and says they want to be an astrophysicist, steer them clear. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it. for what they'll spend at college to go, Yeah. It, the return on investment is really, really low. Yeah, it seems like if you want to be a constant student and just rack up the college debt, maybe that would be your route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I get it, you know. I mean, if 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 the kid comes to you and says, you know, I really want to be an astrophysicist, I mean, the likelihood of them being that interested in astrophysiology, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like astroturf, but uh, it's beyond the realm of turf. That's right. It's just beyond. <laughs> it's yeah. I mean, they're. Yeah, I, somebody's got to do it. So, I mean, fingers crossed. It's yeah. not going to be your kid. I mean, chances are if they're like, hey, I want to be an astrophysicist. you know, They're probably you, from they're, Flint, Mi- Michigan. They're probably from Flint, Michigan, and they're also super smart. Yeah. <laughs> the lead in the water makes them smarter, apparently. 
this is how crazy this episode is. It is. Uh, of us talking about nothing really at all right it's the cycle like you go back around and we did make some loops and then you're like but what was that loop about and you're like nothing and that's where it comes to (laughs) thus how many rants did i have Hmm. there was nothing rantable Hmm. this is a big episode of nothingness yeah yeah and sometimes Nothingness is okay. (laughs) Yeah. At least it will be. Because we're going to put it out anyways. (laughs) So that other people in their simulation... (laughs) Yeah. ...can be programmed to listen (laughs) to our simulation. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. And you'll have a choice in your simulation. Because it'll be forced upon you. Yeah. Like a probe. <laughs> oh my gosh, Phil. Yeah. Yes. That's where we're going. That's that's what's happening today. Oh boy, oh boy. So any big plans for the weekend? You talking to me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, no. None. None. Just projects. Projects. Pocket doors. <laughs> I have more YouTube videos to watch uh, in my future. Uh, yeah. No, I uh I'm getting a little stir crazy yeah. is what I what I'm getting. Yeah. If I'm absolutely honest. Yeah. And uh I think I told you the other day I was gonna take a mental health day Monday. Yeah. And that didn't happen. Oh no. And then um there's no it was no time for mental health Tuesday. Mental health Wednesday. Like, knocked at the door and left. Hmm. And Mental Health Thursday. So it didn't even wait for you to answer. How rude. (laughs) It's just rude. It's true. Um, You can't knock and then not wait. Yeah. Knock. It's the door dash. Hmm. You know, knock. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Right. It's, um, I'm looking for mental health. Hmm. And it's like, gone. (laughs) It was here for a glimpse. Yep. And so... You saw the backside of the mental health. <laughs> of Mental Health Wednesday. Uh-huh. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, we were we were talking about it this morning when I went to get the car at 6 a.m. And uh, it was agreed upon that it was good for me to come to do the podcast because mm-hmm. I needed a break. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I was hoping for a mental health Friday. Yeah. I don't know what that looks like. Could it still happen? It it could, in theory. Yeah. Except it's 2 p.m., and I know what part of finishing projects I have to do. Yeah. So it probably isn't going to work, mm. but I am going to work towards not having any projecting over the weekend. Yeah. That's what really kind of kicked me off into a, 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 a turmoil. Because mm-hmm. I started a project on Saturday that's yeah. taken me a full week to complete. Mm. And I thought it was going to be easy, and it wasn't. I could have started Usually how things go. I could have started with the toilet, setting the toilet. Yeah. And I would have been done with that. But I started with the sink. Ah. Uh. And when I started with the sink, because of the work that needed to be done so the sink could be installed. Yeah. It's been the gift that's been giving all week long. <laughs> now the food we've been eating has been great cuz I've been making I've been home and starting dinner. Four yeah. thirty, five o'clock, or whatever, and we've got. I, I probably made the best taco meat I've ever made in my entire life this wow. week. Yeah, That's yeah, a big claim. What'd you do to it differently? See this. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, I opened up a can of enchilada sauce. Yeah, on accident when I was making the fresh pico. Yeah. And I thought, well, I have this can open. What am I going to do with it? I'm going to try it as a binding agent for the taco meat. 
Yeah. So it's kind of like, it, it's like Spanish chili. <laughs> I mean, but not really, yeah. because you know I just cooked it down, cooked it down until there wasn't, you know, until it wasn't soupy anymore. Was it red enchilada or it, green? It was red. Okay. Accidentally. I mean, I have both. Yeah. Because I enjoy both flavors. Right. Usually, what I do when I make enchiladas is I use the opposite sauce on the meat than what I'm going to put over the top. Hmm. So then you get both flavors. Yeah. Rojo red. Verde green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So. So, yeah. Pro- can, project. You can just call me Project Steve. Yeah. Project Steve. <laughs> <laughs> but we just learned about a uh, a new recipe. Yeah. You know, yeah. That came all by accident. It, wa- it was a complete accident. Mm-hmm. I poked the can opener into the can and turned, and I'm like, oh, crap, this yeah. isn't, and so. And that's where the mental health comes in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, you know. So if that bitch comes knocking tomorrow, you grab her. <laughs> <laughs> you tell her to come in. <laughs> Get in here, <laughs> mental health. It's time for you. I'm starting the pocket door on Monday. Hmm. But I think I'm gonna do demolition on Monday. Yeah, and then I'm gonna mental health Monday afternoon. Yeah, isn't it funny? Like that, my number one like thing that I'm supposed to be doing turns into my relaxation mental health. Hmm. So, but yeah, the studio misses me. It does. I miss the studio. <laughs> it's what happens when you transition. Yeah, when we were up there on Tuesday, you're like, oh. <laughs> I know. I Maybe talk to her every time. I, I yeah. Whenever I turn the lights on, I'm like, hey, I'm back. I'm here. I miss you. Right. I've got my work cut out for me because yeah. I left the place. Usually my last day in is a Friday I and I clean. Yeah. And so, um, but the last day I was in wasn't a Friday. Oh. So I didn't clean. And I was waiting on elements to come. Right. And when the elements didn't come, then um, I started building a sink. Oh. And so I'm in the middle of my self-contained sink. Yeah. I cut a hole in the um, in the countertop. Yeah. And dr- dropped the sink in and... Yeah, but I took a look at it, and if I need to leave the place in better shape than when I showed up on Loha, I can I could repair that yeah. if it needs to be tore out. So, yeah. Anyway, that is something. So you'll one day get back there again. <laughs> someday, someday, someday. someday. Turn. Yeah, it's kind of stir crazy, folks. That's just the deal. Yep. Yep. And it's good to uh, find those breaks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Grab it when you can. Yep. All right. So hopefully your weekend will look uh, like um, something refreshing. Um, we got the U.S. Netherlands game 9 a.m. Saturday morning. Oh, really? Yep. Playing the Netherlands. Now, the Netherlands are going to be a... They're a hard team. They're top 10 in the world. So, yeah. so they're going to be a hard a hard team to play. But they have lots of confidence, apparently, this United States men's national team. Really? Yeah. They've got confidence. Because they, you know, in their group play... Um, they never lost. They tied a bunch, and they won the last one against Iran to get out of group play. Okay. You know, into the round of 16. So so now, with uh, this getting into the 16, you're looking at really good teams who've come out of their group play as well. So Ah. Yeah. 
but they're confident, I think. So there's somebody, there's people who are predicting that the United States will win, but I think they're probably all in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we'll see, though. We'll all see. Right. Well, any given Sunday, apparently, is the football term. I don't know if the world football has a similar term or not. Yeah. So now is a soccer game mm -hmm. like continuous running clock for 90 minutes? No, there's a halftime. So it's 45s. 245s. And then there's always with national play they they have the running clock, so they have so the clock always runs now if you have run into um, injuries mm -hmm. or you run into stoppage that then they have a stoppage clock at the end. So you, that's the reason why I think versus Iran, they had nine minutes of, of stoppage time. So they went 99 minutes. And I think they even went into the hundredth minute because of um, some more stuff that was going on in the ninth, you know, in those nine really? minutes. So wow. They still had a little bit of stoppage, but that goes back to the ref. Then the ref calls when they say they're done. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, I mean, it leaves you with a little bit like, are we done? Are we just keep playing, keep playing until the whistle blows. So, yeah. So that's the encouragement. Keep playing out there in this life until the whistle blows tweet tweet <laughs> all right well you're gonna enjoy more soccer yeah I and so. chicago and green bay play on sunday on right sunday yeah yep. so i bet packers bears traffic will be uh heavy coming into the city it will yeah. which is fine i mean like as we get done with church and there's no travel usually that's going on at that point because games start at noon. Right. Yeah. That's true. Yep. So it won't affect us much here on the north side, but if you're making your way downtown, yep, there's going to be traffic. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's some Sundays it gets backed up at Cicero. Yeah. You know, and so like my trip in today, it was like 14 minutes to the J. Burn. And I'm like, wow, that's like some of the shortest drive time like going into the city that I've seen. Yeah. Typically on Sunday, it's anywhere from 35 minutes to 45 minutes when I pass that sign. And it like going into the city at night, mm -hmm. oh, insane. It's bad. Oh, yeah. And this would be like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, or what do you? Well, I, we went to the opera one time last year yeah and it was like at four o'clock mm -hmm. like on the weekends going into the city i mean you just gotta right plan on or take the metro and you know what i did that mm -hmm. i'm i'm a fan yeah getting downtown mm -hmm. on the train yeah beautiful much more relaxing oh my gosh absolutely yeah that's usually the reason why I like to take the brown line in, you know, because I don't like to, I mean, like, cause you, especially during December or holiday time, like, there's tons of people that are down there. Yeah. You're like, do you want to sit in traffic even when you're, like, just going on these, these streets of downtown? Like, no. Like, just, I, I would rather walk. Yeah. Like, so take the train in, walk everywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. no, it's slick. Yeah. I I will say though that from um, Winnetka to is it the OJR mm -hmm. O O D R um O I don't know whatever the this the end station is. Oh, o Union Station, like you, yeah. Um, well, not Union Union Station's where the Amtrak. Right, at. Amtrak is there. But um, yeah, it's. The metro goes to anyway, right. somewhere at, down there in the finish line. <laughs> yeah, it to, does probably have a name. Well, it's only like four blocks from Union Station. Yeah, and so, but to go there, like the train ride ends fifty five minutes, hmm. but you're not driving in it, right? And it could take you longer. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing with the train. I mean, I think the train, if I drove in, or if I trained in, it's like 40 minutes from, even from here? Brown, Brown Line end here, all the way downtown is like 40 minutes. Oh, wow. On heavy days. Yeah. So, yeah. But you also don't have to sit in the traffic. You don't have to worry about people weave, trying to weave and cut you off and all that other junk. Yeah, it, safety is an issue. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, is that like you could get a ten dollar day pass, so that like you're in and out on three zones for ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Or, um, yeah, I mean, like for me, I just needed one way, so it was six dollars. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's no way. I mean, I'd I'd probably. Yeah, I I would definitely go through six dollars worth of gas. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah. See, this is how the episode goes. Exactly how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you a glimpse, just like trailers always do. It gives you a glimpse. Yeah, yeah. So into the zero ness. Not a not a not a. All right, you guys, have a good Friday. Yeah. See you on Sunday. Happy December. Happy December. May your December be happy. That's my wish. Okay. I got one wish. If I get one wish that comes true, I hope your December. Hey, that's multiplying wishes, though, because everybody who's, who's hearing my, right? my voice, yeah. I'm wishing for them to have a great happy December. December. And if even if half of the people mm -hmm. have a happy December, I made one wish but made 12 people happy. Right. <laughs> so may this wish of steve's multiply in your life yeah send us a little note about a happy december moment that you have inspiration uh -huh. see you everybody <laughs> end there stop stop <laughs> stop go help stop, stop.